podcast, bro. Oh, come wake on. up. Wake up. Oh, what? What? Come on, man. What the fuck, bro? Wake up. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what what? Did we book a party, bro? What's going no. on? What? Look, it's just we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta be back at showtime on, fucking, <laughs> on Monday. Uh, you think you think there be any like kids in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, <laughs> we lowered the age of uh, entry to uh, yeah, ten. <laughs> I always had a low age for entry. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see what disgusting. you did there. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? A siren? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Going on. Hey, put this, uh, put this magazine under your shirt. Yeah. yeah okay, uh, yeah, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 kids. Uh, 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 welcome to Sex Feet. Uh, I'm, I'm Benzo the Clown, and this is my friend, Mr. Fun Fun. Hey, kids. Yeah. We're just here to teach you about your body. <laughs> your body, my body. For <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. yeah. What's the anyway, kids? I heard one of you kids, like, one of your kids, your mom, like, she got smacked and now you live here so uh, huh, that sucks are you like <laughs> do you like bring any of her drugs uh, uh that was that that uh that was actually me uh my mom uh you know she got into my stash and shit you know and then we got into like a little bit of a beef or whatever Wait a minute. you're uh, not a, you're not a puppet uh, well yeah i mean i am for the government you know what i'm saying like, like if you really think about it like if you open your third eye like i'm a puppet for the government you know what i'm saying you're a grown man yeah but it's like you know they're using me as an example of, of uh, opioid addiction and shit like that but i'm just out here having a good time how do you Bro, live it's I'm, not even a red how just, do you live here I, well this is smack street smack street smack street we're on Smack Street. Smack Street. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, uh, is, is Julio around? Julio. Can we go to Mr. Julio store? There's no Mr. Julio store. This is a, this is a kid show. Well, nah, I mean, nah, I was told that Mr. Hooper's store closed down, and now they opened Mr. Julio's store, which sells a different product, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Snuffle up, he's told me so. Snuffle who? Yeah, yeah, the guy, you know, the the, the, the elephant, you know, he, he. You can't see him. He gets a little, you know. Are you? He has a couple hot bags, you know. He gets, he gets right, and he's like, "Hey, bird," you know. That guy, he told me to come down here, bro. Come on, dude. What the fuck? This shit is called Smack Street, bro. Are you telling me there's no fucking dog food out here? All right, calm down, calm down. Put that knife down. All right, well, I mean, you're getting me aggravated, bro. Come like, on. I'm, I'm getting itchy, bro. I'm starting to fucking, I'm getting the shakes, bro. All right, relax, bro. Relax. Come on, this is bro. A nice bro. Come Put on. Put the knife down, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, just give me Julio. All right, this episode is brought to you by the letter H. All right? That sweet lady H. And if I don't get someone, I'm going to fucking stab him to fucking go crazy out here. Call Julio, my fucking guts hurt. Call Julio right now. Get Julio on the fucking phone. Somebody. Please. Please. God damn it. This is episode 174. We're on Smack Street. I need Julio. I need a hot bag right fucking now. Fuck. My guts hurt. They're in nuts. God damn it. Do the fucking drop. God. Fuck. Yo, what's up? Oh. Holy shit. Huh? Is that Julio? Papi, what are you doing over there on Smack Street? Huh? I thought you never go over there. I thought you never go over there. Hey, hey, get out of here. Get out of here. There's too many police. The cash is over there in the building, in the bodega. He's making it hot. Everybody, stop. Everybody go away. Go away from here. Everybody get out of here. It's episode 174. Everybody, okay? Do the uh, bodega voice. Is the, uh, that's what we're talking about right, there, uh, right now. No Julio Stone or nothing like that, okay? This is a podcast. Only podcast. Comedia. Let's see. Jokes. Funny time, okay? No drogas. No nothing, all right? Do the fucking drive. Let's get out of here. Your niggas talking to police. That's it. Yo, say that vaina, loco. 174, 174, episode 174. Do the drive. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Vámonos. Episode 174 of the world's most uh, diverse and uh, inclusive podcast. <laughs> You're welcome. That's right. Or you, uh, or you, or you, little groups out there. <laughs> all, all you Bayesians? Are you Bayesians? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yo, uh, we run ramp shot through the Caribbean. Yo, it's your boy Jesus Nice. Yo, it's your boy Camaro. We out here. Yo, Jamaica stole Rihanna from the Barbados. Yo, so we didn't uh, steal her. Is, like she's always been. She's always been. She's always been from Jamaica. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Victor. Oh, shit, a fat guy in the building, y'all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? With the fly knit. 
She has too much. She has too much drip to be from it's like from, from Barbados, from a little island. Come She's on, like, motherfucking Collie Buds are from Barbados. Okay. <laughs> like, Even though they had that great song in the front of the other weed, come around. Uh, yo. I've seen that like at least once a month. Yo, <laughs> you know what it is. Uh, some things have happened this week. Yeah, some things. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to uh, who, uh, it looks like it's gonna be Astros Yankees. Astros Yankees once again. Once, once again. again. Once again. Hopefully the outcome is different. Yeah, it will be. But it's a different team this year. It's a different team. Got to feel good energy coming yeah, in. Yeah, the Astros don't look like the juggernaut that they look like last year. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're hittable. They're hittable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was putting it on the Rays. Yeah. They're sad. Hate to see it. You hate to see it, but hate you know what I'm saying? Jose Altuve lost two baby teeth. He's recovering right now. You know what I'm saying? He, wow. might, he might start the series on the injured reserve. Do you think P.O. could have beat him up? Absolutely. One million percent. I can see Especially that. if you give P.O. like a bottle or some shit. Like, yeah. it's over. It's over. Oh, P.O. He's washing him. P.O. Has, keeps a very clean kitchen. Yo, yo, I look at those videos. I'm like, wow, like, yo, your kitchen is ma- it's like, it's it's immaculate. immaculate. It's immaculate. If P.O. can keep a clean house, why can't you keep a clean house? <laughs> huh? Do better. P.O. Do better. P.O. is like uh, the f- what's his name, Smokey the Bear, but for like <laughs> keeping your house clean <laughs> for personal hygiene. Only I could. Co- only you could prevent nasty house. <laughs> Oh, P.O. Oh, come on, P.O. We're going to have a show where You're we like, just... I don't want to brush my teeth tonight. Shut up, my nigga. Shut up. You have to brush your teeth and have dental hygiene. We're going to have a show where we just bring P.O. to people's houses. It's like bar rescue. But... <laughs> He's like, shut it down. Shut <laughs> it down. This is crazy. I don't smell no hookah in here. He just go look under the bed. She's on a plate. It's like... <laughs> oh, you know, you're disgusting. Alco, I can't all that. Bar Rescue is a cool show, but they need to like um, they need to make it for like more stuff. More shit. Just don't stop at bars. Like yo, barbershop. You have a channel that could just like have rescues for every like gyro shop rescue. Yeah. Make it very niche. Halal cart rescue. Mm-hmm. Like you know uh, uh, illegal hair braiding store rescue. Rescue. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Chibi truck rescue. All that shit. Uh, Fucking bodega rescue. Porn you know store saying? rescue. True. You know. Word. Think about think about all those porn stores in uh. You got the Street. bestiality right next to the interracial. Are they still selling DVDs? Shut it down. Do people still got DVD. Wow. You know, you y'all listen. That's a problem. If you buy a DVD I and then bringing it home and then putting it in a DVD player, yeah, wow. You're, you're, di- you're different. That's a different type of you earn you, you earn that yeah, spank. Yeah, yeah. Dog. That's like a merit badge. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying. That's like the troops. Like fuck it. Yo. Braver than me. Yo. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Service, man. <laughs> That's the, great, that's the greatest generation right there. <laughs> Being brave enough to go bare face into a Pino store, like browse. <laughs> Niggas just browsing and they're like, yo, hmm, that's what butt's 37 or 39. I mean, that's what when you're clicking on a little one page, one page, two page, three page, four, <laughs> our ancestors, that's what they were doing at porno stores, okay? Yeah. Well, Aki up front, like, yo, this is completely against my religion, but, but fucking gotta get this bread. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How many poppers you want? All right, here you go. Here you go. Yo. Hold on, let me put it in a brown bag and tape it. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Just so people don't know that you're walking out here. Even though it looks like you have a brick of cocaine. Yeah. No, it's like I have a, it's a brick of big wet butts. <laughs> I got sloppy bottom yeah. seven. I got the best of Nina Hartley. I got twenty DVDs for twenty dollars. <laughs> then I got home. I'm like, some of these are repeating. They're like, yo, you pay twenty dollars for this shit. Ass for this shit dog. It says twelve hours on the DVD. Does any DVD have twelve hours <laughs> worth of footage on it, motherfucker? Or it has like it has like features in the menu that don't work. That don't work. Multiple <laughs> angles. What does that mean? How does that work? What, how do what, you what remote I got? <laughs> what angles am I coming through at? I, I press the angle button on my fucking remote. Stupid. The fuck is <laughs> yo, oh, yo, you know what? <laughs> yeah, we yo. started with Pino. We started with Pino. <laughs> Again, America, we have failed you. <laughs> I said we we relapsed. <laughs> oh, God, we relapsed. It's Who's so the character? We're bubbles on the wire, but for Pino. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I read last mom. <laughs> oh man, I, I, had a mo- I had a moment of weakness. <laughs> it broke me. Uh, <laughs> Sarah J's butt broke me. <laughs> we got to go to like a porn addicts anonymous meeting. I would say I'll be like, my name is Jesus. I'm a porn addict, but like, I'm just here to take y'all like, the porn y'all don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, y'all don't need it. It's like a jersey swap. Like you just. <laughs> Yo, you fuck, yo, you, yo, you beat me for hundred. Oh, yo, my that's nigga, what? 
<laughs> yo, let's yo, yo. And we both hold up the DVDs. Like, Picho me. Yo. Picho me. <laughs> <laughs> that boy got some rank. <laughs> gonna be, yo, we gotta just put that shit on the soundboard. <laughs> oh, yo! Oh my god, good that's, times. That's real. I've I've actually not well not super recently, but recently was like just downtown killing time, mm-hmm. and I was just like, you know what? Let me walk into like one of the last remaining piano stores in New York, and I, it was just as depressing as I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah. I went to one on 14th Street because I was killing time because you know I get to places early, and I was like, all right, I got to do some shit, and they were still selling like VHS tapes. Yeah. And I was like, damn, damn this is a. Dog. And then the, like the owners was looking at me like, look at this scumbag, look at this dirty ass. One. I'm like, like, this is research. I was like, I'm just killing time. Yeah. I'm not buying anything. I'm, buying I'm anything better either. than your usual customers. Yeah, I want How dare you? I want to see if you guys were still as gross as okay. you were before. This is disgusting. Is it the adult section still in the back? Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm going. Yeah. I'm going through the beta curtains <laughs> into the weird shit. <laughs> that shit is like uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for scumbags. Yo, you go through the beta curtains and I see the one like, yo, is that a horse dick? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you just walk up by. All of a sudden, you see porn you didn't even know existed. You was like, what? Yo. You was like, how? You know, triple fist and grannies. Like, like, what the fuck? A dog in a wheelchair. (laughs) What the fuck? The dog's like, they're like 30 anal scenes. What? Like, what? How do you blow an orca? Like, what? (laughs) Just put it in your cart for later. Yo! She's got mad dust on it and shit. You walk past, like, the the, the rabbit vibrator with mad dust on the package. Like, damn, dog. Oh. Niggas ain't been in here in a minute. Pino. (laughs) Are you in a Naughty America bracelet? Oh shit! I am. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Wow! I actually, Yo, we've come full circle. <laughs> Nobody does it better. Stop talking about people with naughty America. <laughs> I have no idea. I just you know hashtag what? ad. I thought I was just putting a, on a white brace I forgot it's naughty America. Uh, Jesus. Naughty America. Do we have? We gotta go to rehab, dog. We gotta go to We gotta go to like Pino rehab because this is out of control. <laughs> oh shit, that's real. I respect it though. Listen, I this respect is, it. This is a flex. It's a badge of honor. It's a yo uh, let's pe- let people know. Okay? I'm not afraid. To I let am you not know. afraid. I stand up. Okay. <laughs> I beat my meat. I, I beat my, my meat. meat. <laughs> stand up on the plane and give everyone to start chanting that. <laughs> Even kids and shit. Who here beats their meat? Stand in solidarity. Stand in solidarity with us. Just have like a wild rally in Washington, D.C. Like, they'll never take our masturbation. Never. Be the mita. Be the mita. Be the mita. Be the mita. Everyone's doing like that Minnesota clap. They're like. <laughs> kids and shit. Like. <laughs> Be in the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that meat. Yo, my God. Uh, it's like the Hong Kong protest, but no, let me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we don't want to get banned from China. Yo, for real. We have a huge listener base, yo, a huge fan base in yo, China. China will get niggas out of here All quick. Right. So just want to say we stand in solidarity with the communist government. <laughs> Word. We bang with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Xi Jinping, you know what I mean? Xi Jinping. You know what I'm saying? Bing, bing. You know what I mean? That's my guy. <laughs> they said that because they, uh, who was it? Because Harden and like one of the owners of the, yeah, Daryl the, Moore, the, the Rockets was said, like, yo. All he did was post something about Hong Kong and China was like, you know what? Cancel. Cancel, y'all niggas. All right. They be <laughs> American cancel culture. That's cancel culture. That's for real. For real. <laughs> <laughs> like, so no, now, now there's a chance that they're saying China might adopt the Nets as like their team. Their team? Uh, that would be, let's, uh, no. That's brilliant. That's, that's a, the, that's brilliant for the Knicks because that means the Nets would be aligned with a communist dictatorship. <laughs> oh, that's who you're gonna bang with? Oh, where? Oh, where? KD? Oh, where? Huh? Answer that question. This is gonna join the prison the camps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. James Dolan oh. doesn't do bad shit oh. like that. It just makes music. And- Guess what? You get a bad game. You, you have a bad game, dog. You get disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Get disappeared, Kyrie. 
You know what I'm saying? See, I was going to say that's not going to happen, but Kyrie would definitely believe that would happen. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. He's like, yo, I'm putting up a triple-double every night. I don't want to get disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks China's like over there because the earth is flat. <laughs> He's like, yo, they just, all they got to do is drive like 20 miles. He was like, if there if there were like riots over there, I'd be able to hear them. So, <laughs> so we'll they're on the riots. I don't care. <laughs> doesn't happen. You're stupid. <laughs> uh, very excited for the Knicks season because one of the Knicks, a lot of because KD said the Knicks are not cool. Okay, which you know what? Fine. He's allowed to say that. Fine, he's allowed to say You're that. Allowed to All I'm saying is when you go to the Nets games and you hear that chant Brooklyn, yes. Brooklyn. When you used to hear it in hip hop videos, mm-hmm. the people saying it was scary. Yeah, you know, yeah. like you were like, yo, oh shit, Coons, oh shit, oh, niggas had the chest yeah, out. Yeah, you niggas like shoot you. Mafia. All right, yeah, uh-huh. all right, now niggas do it, and then they go to the food co-op. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. ah, it's not the same. Yeah, now they got, it's uh, not the same. Now they got, now right? they got scarves on. There's a chance you know someone saying it might have a gluten allergy. Exactly. You know, it's you know not scary. They don't want to break their Warby Parkers. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Hit them with that glasses brand name. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell them. Cowards. Yes, they are car- cowards for not using Gorby <laughs> Parker. <laughs> What's a fucking hipster sunglass for a glasses company? It's not William Painter. That's bro uh, shit. Warby Parker. Warby Parker. Warby Parker. <laughs> Maybe like Soul Mascot, but they've been around for a while. The Soul, around shut the Soul Mascot. Yeah. Shout out to everyone listening right now. So lost the way I am. I'm like, what? Because you, you, well, you said this bifocal. You life. said Soul <laughs> Mascot. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like someone performing at Roots Picnic. <laughs> Warby Parker, <laughs> we know so mascot like they perform with Solange or some shit, and King and her. And Solange, I was like, wow. Thundercat, and Warby Parker on the main stage. Wow, <laughs> I'm like Give I love it. it. I'm, I'm like I love it. Got, yeah. It's got such a vibe. Yo, it makes me feel like uh, it's feel like Black Rose. Yo, they formed the super group called Sandalwood. Oh. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow uh, opening day for my Rangers. Oh you know yeah, that's right, pal. You know what it that's is? That's right. Yeah, we bleed blue over here, bro. Rangers All right, town. Rangers town. Rangers right, town. Buddy. None of that Islander stuff. Nah, bro. no, okay? no way, bro. Catch me time went on at tracks before I go to MSG. <laughs> okay, if they lose, I'm fighting someone on the LI double. Right. Catch me. <laughs> Get you in Penn Station slogging a beer with a Mike Richter jersey on before yeah, I hit the oh, game. Whoa, oh, someone's classy over here. Yeah. A lot of people pay for drinking at the bar. I just go to Rite Aid. Hey, fuck that. <laughs> Get a six and throw it down a leg, bro. Yeah, walking right in. My brother's a cop, so they got to let me in. <laughs> No, Rangers games is lit. I'm gonna I'm going to mad Rangers games this year just to piss people off. <laughs> people were like, they're like, why do you get such good seats? Bro, Shout yeah. out to Gene. Yeah. Cause we like we sit we literally sit in row one, seat Oof. one. Oof. This guy tapped me on the shoulder once and was like, I have to ask, what do you do? I was like, I was like, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I was like, sir, you're behind me. I am not looking behind me. You gotta hit him with the Terrence Howard flow. Like, <laughs> listen, man, you don't you don't deserve to know what I do, you brother. Don't. Because one times one is an atom. You know what I'm saying? And the molecules <laughs> in the air that we breathe, you do not understand. <laughs> God damn, no, I'm turning my ring off. <laughs> this nigga's wild. How are your ring on in 2019? I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. like what? How, what kind of life you live in? Yo. I went from Nobody <laughs> has the rigor on except for like my parents. Yo, well, but, yeah, hold up. And the fucked up shit is that my case is so fucked up, I can't even do like just, you know how you just press the button? And the Why don't you just buy a new case? I should. But You've you know been about this case for like two months, years, literally, my, literally. Two years. He's had that shit since the other network. Your man got on. <laughs> your man got on Gucci sneakers, yeah. multiple chains, and I had the same phone case for two networks. <laughs> but you can tell he was living a different life when he got that case because it doesn't like come off without a tool, right? Like he used to get yeah. it and just like put it in a sarcophagus. Yo, and I was yo. like, bro, it's here's not a, that serious. Here's a, <laughs> the wildest part. I had opened it with a butter knife, nigga, yeah. and then I put it back together. <laughs> Here's the wildest part. Miro constantly talks about, oh, I love going to the mall. I love getting smacked going to the mall. <laughs> Where do they sell phone cases at? Hmm. Hmm. You know, you got to pass at least five kiosks. <laughs> Selling phone cases. Yeah. I was thinking I could have had the little pump phone case. I could have had the fake Supreme phone case. Like, Why don't you get like a Gucci phone case or something? <laughs> You been out here with the, the squalor phone case. <laughs> you know, this shit is wild squalor when it got dust on the inside, like, and it just does not come off ever. Like, yo, yeah. He got the, maybe I hop the turnstile, maybe I don't phone. 
<laughs> Look at you. Is that what keeps you humble, that phone? Just looking at the phone like, y'all remember, uh, remember the days. You know what I'm saying? We we have nothing. All we had was that. Don't, that iPhone phone is X's. from before Jesus versus Miro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tim Apple gave me this shit. That nigga. phone is old as shit. <laughs> that shit came with a YouTube album. Called <laughs> hello, hello, it's Vertigo. <laughs> shit came with a ten dollar iTunes gift card and shit. <laughs> Recipes iTunes. R.I.P. iTunes. Yeah, y'all niggas right. can't own y'all music no more. Ah, uh, you tight. It's sad. It's sad. I think Torrance is coming back. Yo, you have to start the ripping groups again. Let's bring it back. RNS. RNS is back, back, baby. <laughs> RNS, CMS, Ego, KSI. We back, baby. We back in business. I don't care. If you were in a ripping group, I don't care if you're 40. Like, hit me up. We're bringing them back. Holla. I can lose a lot. I can, I can go to jail for this, Jesus. I got a lot to lose nowadays. You, like, you see ah, what happened it. with Evil Empire. It's easier to be a hacker and all that stuff when you're, like, a teenager. Because if, if you get caught... Well, you're not going to jail. Going to jail. They're going to tell your parents or some shit. Yeah. You do that shit at like 40, you're going to jail for like oh, white collar for- crime. Woo. You don't be in there. You don't be in jail for like computer crimes. That shit is whack. Nah, you be in there with like Martha Stewart. You, and shit you like- can't even ex- explain to people like what you're in jail for. So like what I did was like I downloaded FL Studio. Mm-hmm. And then we made a bunch of illegal copies. Yeah. And then I made up these like codes. So that people could like crack them. And like you have the full version instead of like demo version. You just stab you. Yeah, I'm just like, go, go, go. I'm this, sorry, I'm mad pussy. Right. I'm sorry, I'm mad pussy. All right. All right. Would you download a car? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up with 3D printing? How come it's not bigger? I thought we'd be. A, I thought we'd be. Fam, I d- swore to God by 2020, I would be printing shotguns in my crib. All myself. types of shit, like tanks. It's mad slow. Like all that shit. Like I thought, I was, you know, the GTA when you do the GTA code, that shit just appears. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought I was gonna be doing by this time with 3D printers. But Sad. nope. We were like when you were younger, you think twenty twenty we'd have like flying cars, Mac, all that shit, all types of that, jets that, and shit. Now nah. think about the shit we got. We got the same ratty ass train system uh, from like eighteen oh five. What what what's like a big develop? What's something we didn't have in two thousand that we have now? Oh well, jewels, huge yeah, ju- jewels, jewel mm-hmm. pods, and a major development. The the what used to be pay phones are now Wi Fi hotspots and also places for homeless people to masturbate. Okay, that's not a recent development at all. (laughs) That is, uh, welcome to New York. (laughs) Apparently, you've lived in the Midwest for several years. Uh, Yo, those Wi-Fi kiosks never work, by the way. They do. Like, yeah. They do. They work like Amtrak Wi-Fi. No, they work. The the, the one on my block, the kid just sits out there all day connected to it using the internet. And I felt (laughs) bad. And I was going to, I was like, oh, because he's using like a phone. And I was going to give him like a tablet. Because I have, like, a tablet I'll use. And I was like, oh, I could just be benevolent and give it to him. And I was like, hmm, should I be giving away electronics on my block? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. That's not a... Uh, living in the Bronx, that's not something you do. That so... I got tablets. Also, he gave me a dirty look once, so he's Fuck dead him. to me. Fuck you. He's, I mean, you know. Ellen and I here hugging up with, with, you know what I'm saying, George Bush. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's up in arms. Yeah. That's weird because people are just like, she shouldn't hang with him. I mean, I'm like, yo, like, look, people are like that. She's like, it doesn't matter about your views. But then she was like, oh, you're saying that because you're rich. And I was like, mm, that's probably true. That's, that's absolutely true. <laughs> probably true. It's like you're yeah. you're mega hyper rich. Like, yeah. You're not like rich. Like, yeah, rich, not like rich. Yeah. Rich, rich. Yeah, like you're beyond 50 mil. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. That's yeah. a lot of. That's a lot of bread. Yeah. That's She's a lot not of, walking around asking, where's no, peace, bro? No. Okay. She got all that money because she sold all the fucks that she had to give. And she gives no fucks anymore and is rich. Mm-hmm. Mega, mega, mega rich. So she could, li- she, nigga, she could fucking, they could put a video up of her playing Scrabble with fucking Putin and Gaddafi right now. It's true. And nobody would give a shit. And the thing is, the people- be like, you know what? We have differences. They use nerve gas. I don't. But at the end of the day, we're all humans. Okay. Be like- we have to come together. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. I I'm, on, I'm on Instagram. I'm like, yes, yes. Tell, thank you for yes, telling it yes, like Alan, it is. You and I, T-Y. Because everybody's like, yo, I want, I want to be on that show. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're not like, people don't realize a lot of celebrities do not use social media. Like they have social media accounts, but it's someone else running them, Ooh. so they don't see all that outrage and shit. They don't give a shit. I don't fucking care. They don't give a Fuck. shit. 
What do you think? She's in one of her six houses, stressed is like, oh my god, <gasps> uh, Boho oh. Sister Seven Nine Three said I'm I am a terrible person because oh. I hang out with a war oh. criminal. Oh. No, she's probably like eating a uh, portion from the back. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, like you ever, you ever, you ever, yeah. you ever made love to a, a ah. multiple millionaire? Yo, bring me the raw honey. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, let's get freaky. Put on an old Ally McBeal episode. <laughs> yeah. I was like, isn't she from Arrested Development? I was like, no, take it back. No, take it back. Take it all the way back. <laughs> take it back in the Watch Chronicles. Shout out to her. Wait, are we bigging her up or no? Uh, Portia, yeah. Portia? Not Ellen. And Not Ellen? Bush. I mean, for sure, like she was like off to the side. Like, I mean, yeah, that's I gonna be your kids are gonna hang with Baron Trump in the future. Oh no, don't say that. Yeah. Fuck, that's what I'm like trying to steal them on the right path and like, no, like hang if you, out with SoundCloud if you're, rappers. If you're like successful, yeah, it's gonna be like it's uh, gonna be like your daughter and Baron Trump hanging courtside a, a Nick game. Damn, no, mm, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. want that for my kids. I'd mm-hmm. rather, uh, yo, I'd rather my kids hang out with Pecos kids. Like, yo, <laughs> nah, they're gonna be hanging with Baron Trump. <laughs> no. and it's gonna be like the wild flex, and people are gonna be like, oh, but by then people will have, will have forgiven Trump. Oh yeah, he'll be like a cute idiot. Like no, he won't even, George, George, George. Yeah, everyone would just be yeah. like, "Well, he oh, was he's bit, so dumb. He's so dumb. Did, but he was a lovable c- loser. He, yeah, he was cute. Oh. Oh, it was like, look at his little gaps. Oh. 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 When we put kids in cages, oh, that was cute. <laughs> it was adorbs. But they're gonna have like. Uh, when, they, when he dies, oh my god, the dick sucking that is going to oh happen. And they're going to name a bridge after him oh and they're going to name a boat after god. him. And people are going to talk about how, what a joy it was to work oh with him, my god. how respectable he was. Hey, you know that's what he loves. Love He's going to be the first motherfucker to die and be in his casket with a full on erection. <laughs> just from all the adulation he's getting and shit. Like, yo. They're talking about me. Yeah, they built, yeah, I built half a feet of uh, fence and it cost <laughs> $80 million. What's good? I'm the man. Uh, how, did you notice that? You may start speeches like that now. I'm yeah. like, yo, is it, you may go full reptile. He, gonna, may, he gets on the mic. He's like, I'm like, yo, are you little way laying the he blood gotta, before verse. You got to bring all that, get all that Adderall in there. <laughs> yo, he's like, got to make sure he's, he's ready. Like, yo, he's like, <laughs> he's like, yo, yo, I get the freaks up there. Uh, listen, guys, I can't feel my face. I can't feel my face. This shit is fish scale. Oh my god. He, every time he starts a speech, he's like, when your boy comes out the bathroom in the club, he's, yeah, like, he's like, yo, listen. Let's go. Woo, yo. Let's go. Guys, listen. I have a great idea. Holy shit. Do you guys see the music as well as I do? Whoa. Like, oh, wow. I can see the bass vibes, I bro. see the notes. Whoa, bro. That's G flat. <laughs> this, this G's not flat. Move over, niggas. Yo. Start dancing by myself. <laughs> Fuck. The smoke's amazing, though. Smoke some angel dust. Well, you gotta have angel dust on you. Yeah, that's true. That's not something that you we come. Oh, uh, yo, let's do a whole episode where we just do the shit on shrooms. You know, shrooms are not that fun. They just make me giggle a lot. It's not. <laughs> they make you giggle yeah, a lot. It's not. It doesn't have a wild effect. You want to do it on like some uh, angel dust? Yeah. Let's take it back to take the nineties. Wow. <laughs> just start fighting everyone in here. <laughs> yo, eat the table. <laughs> shit. Like, yo, just start fucking putting the mics in my ear. Like, ah! <laughs> One time in bookings, this kid was talking. He was like, yeah, I got in a car accident and I hurt my back, so I got to take Angel Dust all the time for the pain. And everyone was like, word, word, word. And I was like, did you see a doctor? And everyone looked at me like, what are you, smart? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to shut the fuck I'm up. I'm going to just be quiet. I'm going to just be quiet. I see the rest of us do not share the same education level. <laughs> I'm smoking Angel Dust for the pain. <laughs> for the what? The pain of reality, nigga? Because Angel Dust just puts you in a video game. Everybody there is talking about like their crimes and shit. I went to war with the cops of the AK-47. They come to me. I'm just like, <sighs> this whole journey reminds me of the Cattenberry Tales. I mean, <laughs> so traveler comes and a traveler goes. And so I'm t- Yo, this t- nigga reading books. <laughs> Yo, jump this thing and fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Thoreau says, I guess that's my ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta be, if you're an educated nigga, you gotta get a book and present and put that shit in a sock. Yeah, that's it. It's just whacking nigga over the head with beat niggas, one piece. Beat a nigga to death with a Jane Eyre book. Yo, hold this. The, the irony. Oh, you fuck with Tolstoy, nigga? Ah, ah. ah. Oh, you really uh, fuck with Tolstoy now, motherfucker. He's like, all right, all right. Yeah. They come back with Beowulf. Everyone start running like, oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit, he's not oh, playing. Oh, shit, he got the yo, opera. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you come back with Moby Dick. He's like, yo, this guy got the extendo bump stop. Oh, extendo, extendo, extendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, but use books as weapons. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? Or call your shooter Tom Wolf. 
You know what I'm saying? Tom Wolf, Tom Wolf. Tom Wolf, Wolf you know what I'm saying? Tom Wolf, he's related to uh, Michelle Wolf, who Michelle used to have the show on yeah. Uh, Netflix. Yeah, that's right. That's and her Dick father. Wolf. And Dick who, Wolf. Who, who produced Law and Order. The Wolf family, they they run things. Uh, things don't run them. Yeah, nah. Uh-huh. It, it, they call them the Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack. You know what I'm oh. Oh. People <laughs> forget <laughs> Wolf Pack is uh, the name of Omar Epps' former rap group. Oh, shit. They had their song, Definition of a Man. Oh, wow. That's right, Omar. I never, I never forgot. Definition of a man. Uh-huh. Just by the title, I don't want to hear that song. I'm the, what's your definition of a man? <laughs> oh God! Oh, it was a it was a moment. I don't even know if it exists. On, oh, it does. It does. YouTube never forgets. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh oh yeah, this is nineties. It's like boom 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 boom. See? Yo, 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 no, yo, yo, no lie, sorry, but I'm a dude, 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 I'm we were trying our best to make it happen. That kids, the kids got grammar nowadays. They got like, they got punctuation marks and semicolons. Niggas writing raps with Grammarly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People don't realize none of the MCs in the nineties had the Oxford comma, so that affected a lot of flows. You know, Yo. it, it, was, it was hard out there. Right. Yo, our, our, Rakim was like the E.E. E. Cummings. Yo, he of, was. Just, just, just verses. Oh my god, mm-hmm. unbelievable. The cadence, and now the flow. We have, you know, such people as Blueface. Oh, yeah. Little Pump. Yeah. You know, just just wordsmiths. Hey. You know? I'm going to leave that nigga looking like a bagel. Niggas is eating bagels. I was like, what the fuck is this nigga rapping about? I was like, what? Why are you rapping about bagels, nigga? Like, you're a crip. Like, do they even have bagels in your neighborhood? I, I was mean, like, hey, I, I got to go up to, like, Riverdale to get good bagels. Ah. <laughs> or, or, like, H&H. Let me tell you a New York story. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I got a bagel once in Riverdale. Hit me with it, Woody. <laughs> I bit into it. I broke my fucking tooth. Unbelievable! That's I go. I go to the owner. I go look. Oh, look, I got the tooth in my hand. I was like, "Your bagel broke my tooth." I, uh, I, and she goes, "You know, you had you had all the right goes, in the world to go back." She goes, "It happens." Huh. The nerve. The nerve. The nerve. The nerve. Unbelievable. Let me tell you. The unmitigated goal. Let the, me tell you the something. The Yelp review I left. Let me tell you My something. God. That's good. Six paragraphs. Let me tell you something. Better Business Bureau. Oh, go. Oh, oh. Call them too. Oh, call. Call no. them too. I wrote. And. I wrote. The I team. They're always on your side. We can go over there to the bagel shop right now and we'll get, we'll let them know how we really feel. The community feels about hard bagels. I went to CBS. Got that guy. Shame, 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 mm-hmm. shame on you. Yeah. And he went up there. Yeah. And he said That's shame the on them. Yeah. And they called the cops. And but then, you know. And then they were shamed. They were shamed. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're boycotting. Yeah. Can you boycott a bagel store? How often? How Like are people buying bagels every day? I mean. If you eat bagels every day, you're going to get fat. I learned that the hard way when I worked at. Um, That's like hardcore carbs. Yeah, it's hardcore carbs. That's and like then fucking condensed carbs. Condensed carbs, and then it's like cream cheese or yeah. butter, or if you're feeling extra fat like me, cream cheese and sour uh, and Swiss cheese. Ooh. Ooh, just being at my desk in a food coma at nine forty-five. Yeah. It's like I hate this job. But this bagel though. This bagel slamming. <laughs> Start my day with a tab that has monster.com. The other tab has Indeed. <laughs> the other tab has shit. Yahoo jobs. Look for anything. Not even looking for jobs that could work. Just because, looking for any job. Because on bed page, like, I'm like, what? As a provider? <laughs> They're like looking for someone to put up chairs in Bryant Park. I was like, I'm out this bitch. I'm, I'm with it. Yo, oh, you need a fresh direct warehouse manager? Nigga, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> they need to come up with a new way to get jobs, like a new resume system. I guess. Why do we use resumes? Re- that resumes are so they don't, even, they don't make any sense. sense. And also, you can lie your ass off on your resume and get a job. Yeah, but then see, the problem is if you lie your ass off, you get you get that moment I had with Final Cut Pro where they asked me to uh, make an edit and change some lights on a video clip in Final Cut Pro. <laughs> and after my boss walked away, I opened Google. 
<laughs> and I typed in which icon is Final Cut Pro, <laughs> <laughs> and I sit there like, uh, okay. they were like, insert the media here, and I was like, ah, what is that? I was like, ah, and then I actually got the file open, and it was like mad different elements and different channels, and I was just like, I was like, fuck, I lied my ass off. Shit. You know, when you're sitting there, you just panic. Yeah. And you click something and like mad shift shifts, and you're like, ah! Oh, undo, 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 undo. Control Z, control Z, control Z. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there because it's like four o'clock, and I know I can leave at five. And I was like, if I just kill time. I could just everyone's gonna leave at five. I, I just leave just, the shit open. I just leave the shit open. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> like I don't know if we're gonna get this shit done or not, but yeah. I actually figured out how to get it done, and that was the worst thing I could do because then they gave me like twenty more clips. And uh, I was like, Fuck. Fuck. But you know, shout to you. Got to you. Got to just lie and be like, oh, this copy is glitching. Yeah, <laughs> so make up some yeah, bullshit, some bullshit like, like that. <laughs> this computer has a virus. <laughs> Here's a trick that you can do if you, uh, excuse me. Well, a lot of computers are Wi Fi now, but if you like work at an ORD organization, they still have like wired network, unplug the network connection in the back and, um, but just put it in slightly. So it looks like it's connected. Oh, and it'd be like, yo, yeah, I don't, it's just not connected. Network's bro. down. Network's I don't down. know. Server fail. Because people will look, but they won't really pull on it. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. The more you know. That's a little trick okay. we used to do in the library when we didn't want to check out books. <laughs> <laughs> people come in. I'm like, sorry, nigga. Sit down and like, read that shit in here. I was like, the network's down. I don't know what to tell you. And it was like, that's not how the library handles it. I was like, what do you mean? They was like, here's the notepad, and you're going to write down every barcode. The ISBN and I number? was like, oh, oh my no. God. You are, you thought. And it was like, and then when the book, when the network comes back up, you're going to type those all in manually. I was like, ah. So that's cool if like the network goes down for like 10 minutes. The network once that went down for a week. Oof. Nigga. You know how many books the library lost? Because <laughs> I was I was like oh five three four uh, whatever <laughs> fuck ah uh, nigga who yeah. cares yeah red book red book fucking cover yellow book by a wild dub with attitude <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh yeah. shit. Shout out to the library. Shout out to the library. That's where you get books. You get books, you get DVDs, you get resumes there, you do 3D print shit. That was the wildest discovery I ever made. Was like, yo, I could get a DVD here for free? I was like, it's quiet for Blockbuster, nigga. Fuck Blockbuster. Yeah, people don't know that. Dick, bro. People don't know that. And also, the library is free daycare if you don't really care about your kids. Big facts. Yeah, just just leave them off there. Mega facts. They got to learn. They got to learn. Make them learn not to talk to people there. You know? Just be like, yo, stranger danger. When they do the little sit, sit, reading circle shit, just go sit your ass in a circle. When they're exactly. done, just wander around, mm-hmm. go on the computer. Take a sharpened pencil with you to the bathroom in case someone touches you, you exactly. can stab them. Exactly. Facts. Mm-hmm. Make sure you don't go on Pornhub on the computer. Or you know if you saying? do, print it out. Facts. You know, the good shit. Make sure you, yeah, make sure you go to the front and be like, yo, I got some pages printed. I need, I want some. Who printed out this porn? Be like, I did. <laughs> I believe that uh, cream pie dot JPEG. That's mine. That's me. It's me. Yo. Nigga, that's my movie. print. Nigga, that's my print. That's my print. <laughs> Nigga, print movies like frame by frame. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what's when I worked at the library, somebody, instead of printing out like porn, they just printed out the names of porn files, like five pages of it. Oh my but God. the names of the files was like black dick and white pussy. So I guess you could read it and I, maybe have a better imagination than the rest of us. <laughs> black dick and white pussy. So thought maybe you just need five words. Yo. Actually, I think. Uh, speaking of Pino, I'm sure like years of watching porn has like ruined our spank bank ability. Oh yeah, well no, nah, it depends. Like I feel like if I if if it's a recent spank bank uh, event, mm-hmm. then I can like go back to it because it's like highlights, highlights from like yesterday. Okay, you know what I'm saying, and I'm just like, oh word, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can rock with this. But what but about like the vintage shit? Vintage shit, like I, I bust out the vintage shit every once in a while. Mm-hmm. If you know what it is. If if you're watching a Pino mm-hmm. and it reminds you of something from the Spank Bank and you just pause the Pino and you just go back to the Spank Bank like oh shit I remember where Shreddy did this yeah okay so let me pause this because I'm really I don't you're new to me I don't really really know you you're right. just, you were just on the front page like I'm not a fan mm-hmm. like I just saw the thumbnail and I was like oh this looks interesting okay and then you see some maneuver or some shit that you have in the Spank Bank previously with a partner. And then you go back to that. You know what I'm saying? So in a way, it kind of refreshes the spank bank a little bit. Sounds like a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like a lot of work, but uh, 
But then you fuck around and fall asleep on your computer and the shit just auto plays Mad Pino in a row and then you wake up and you're watching fucking hentai. Ah, uh, yeah, I, n- I do not fall asleep from my computer. But <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, yeah. I know you just. <laughs> What if the kid saw this? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jade and James takes two BBCs? Huh? It's gross. It's <laughs> gonna fall asleep with your dick out in your pants down. No, no, no. I'm done by the time that shit. I fools. I, I make sure. Look sir, around, I'm, sir, I'm, sir, I'm sir, I'm sir. I'm married. I have respect for my wife. Sir, LA. I, I come from L- so far. LA. What happened in LA? <laughs> what did I see in LA? What happened? Was it there? What did I see though? <laughs> you know, okay, you, know. you, you want to be on your parents and bear shit. <laughs> Man, want to fall asleep with a fucking uh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> chalupa in his hand and his phone in the other. <laughs> Just respectful. <laughs> your mama be ashamed. Of you. Okay. <laughs> I walked in like, where's my peeves, bruv? Not, uh, wrong peeves, bruv. I'm grateful. Wrong peeves, bruv. <laughs> wrong peeves. <laughs> we go with that gyro. <laughs> I was like, oh, they got a Chipotle around here? Yo. Oh, my God. He's got the meats. <laughs> yeah, that boy got some meat. <laughs> Disgusting. Speaking of meats, uh, we haven't been that to Arby's be in a while. Arby's fucking slogan. But we got the meat. That boy got some meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Arby's has more than just meats. They got gyros. They got gyros up? But they say gyros. Gyros. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's like what else the, is Arby's? That's the Greek way of spelling it, even though in Greece they're like, yo. Uh, you notice how Arby's didn't, didn't do like the Popeye's chicken? They were just like, yo, we just got meat, nigga. Like, yo, they're like, through. yo, we, we located by Penn Station. Like, yeah. No, we by Port Authority, excuse me. So, yeah, you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? If yeah, you, yeah. you want to eat this while crying, yo. Shit, it's right here. Yo, you want to eat your sandwich and get stabbed by a homeless vagrant in a pea coat that smells? It happens. Happens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's part of the game, B. We got the meats. You know what I'm saying? You want the meats? You got to, you know what I'm saying? Defeat the, you know what I mean? The obstacles on your way to the meats. And then Arby's has the, um, they got the bell you ring when you leave. Like, if you had a good meal, you ring it. If you ring it by the one of Port Authority, you will get stabbed. Oh, 100%. So we're not used to that in New York. We're not used to you doing shit. Like, yo, what the fuck? Who, yo, what the fuck? Yo, who's doing whimsical shit? Who ringing bells? Who the fuck is over here doing whimsical shit? I'm about to fuck with y'all niggas up. Does Cold Stone Creamery, do, do they still sing? Remember Coastal Creamery when they first opened? Not in Jersey. They were saying when you like, walk in. In Jersey, it's just saying, like, yo, what you want in your fuck ice cream, nigga? <laughs> You want Oreo crumbs and shit? Uh, they used to you, sing you if you Reese's? gave a tip. They would ask your name. They like incorporate your name, new types of so. Now it's just like no. Yo, sh- nah, nah. It's they- like even Chipotle. Remember Chipotle used to be like, yo, guac is extra. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a shit at Chipotle. Yeah, these franchises are falling off. Yo, but I, f- I still fuck with the coleslaw despite my fucking total inability to digest lactase. Yeah, lactose. Uh, fuck it, I'll go there. But yo, Shorty really just chopped the shit like she's chopping a brick. Like she don't care no more. I can't. Care. I can't fuck with. Uh, can't fuck with Cold Stone. I fuck with uh, Cool House. It's a non dairy, non dairy, vegan, no lactose or whatever. Like I got, they sell them at Whole Foods. Okay. Wait, quick, nudge, nudge. You know, I be shopping. Okay. I bought it. And I thought it was gonna be crap, and it was really good. It's good. It's really good. Yo, the Ben and Jerry's dairy free shit is pretty good too. I was surprised. And then Froyo, I was like, I ain't fucking with no frozen yogurt. Get the fuck out of here. I don't fuck with yogurt. I, I look right, like a baby. Right, right, relax, I'm a fucking relax. baby. What are you so aggressive against frozen yogurt for? Because I got four kids and they eat yogurt. So I, I just automatically equate that with like being a child and being childish and immature. So I'm like, I ain't need no fucking yogurt. Do I look like a baby to you? But then I tried it and I was like, oh, this is just basically ice cream. Soft serve ice cream. So yeah. I'm on the Froyo train now. Shut, shut the you wanna, handles. You might want to work on that. I know, I know. Some issues here. It's toxic masculinity. It's really toxic masculinity. Yeah, it is. And you know what? God's working on all of us. So is he? I don't think he is. I think God is like well, this is working on some niggas. <laughs> what if God's working on none of us? <laughs> what if God was one of us? Just a bum like one of what us? Is? Yeah, just a stranger on the bus trying to make his way home. We've done this before, but you know what? It hits every time. So fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? See, the problem is, if we repeat enough of this podcast, eventually we're gonna get to the point where this podcast can be automatically generated by an algorithm, Ooh, and then we still get paid, and we don't gotta we don't gotta do shit. Why would why would we get paid? Why would they pay us if they, a computer could generate both parts of this podcast? Intellectual property laws. Nah, because it's like made in China or some shit where they don't have that. It's so. made in China. 
<laughs> Don't you mean Gina? And then what? Then we're, we're done. No more podcasts. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not. I mean, the algorithm. What? Don't want like a couple of yours, a couple of uh, 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 some Bronx saying? references. Yeah. A lot of Pino shit. Um, you talk else? about your kids. I mentioned yeah. about sneakers. Something about Max. Something about Heather. Boom. Uh, what? Boom. 174 episodes later. Blah! There you go. You found the formula. You cracked it. We're doing live shows at every venue. It's a hologram comes out. The hologram's <laughs> got the flags and shit. Yo, what up? Hey! Listen. Do you want to see Bodega Boys and Flagstaff? That's how it's going to happen. Yeah, yo, listen. I'm sorry. You had to make Listen. Price, price went up. No, we don't get paid for it. Like... <laughs> Cash app is just like running around doing it. <laughs> we're just reading. We're finding out about the shit every day. He was like, "Yo, I just seen them in Tuhachi, New Mexico." I was like, "What? What? We was there? Why were we performing there? What the fuck is that? We're performing at the same time in five cities. Then we, t- we turn into Takashi. Like, yo, if I owe my management, you know what I'm saying? If you if you get a fucking call and you say that you they booking the Bodega Boys, that's a dub. Yeah. It's a lie. You know what I'm saying? It's not true. We fight all our management. I got all new management. We got all new management. You know what I'm saying? PO's are managing now. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't get a call directly from PO, then it's not official. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say for right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to snitch. True. It's true. <laughs> How you do that? He's like, oh, niggas are extorting me. I could just fire them. No, nigga, that's not how it works. Yeah, the whole Takashi thing is, it's a weird story. Uh, that's going to be the way, like, it, you know how they did the OJ shit and they, like, really ran with it and they did, like, six different versions? Mm-hmm. I can't wait till, like, fucking 10 years down the road they do 10 different versions of this other shit. I think they're just going to do one. I don't think that many people care about Takashi. Just us. It's going to be a lifetime. Like, white people don't care about Takashi. White people are not at home. Like, what's going on with 6ix9ine? <laughs> like no one is backing out of Whole Foods, like going through it. Like NPR is not doing a deep dive with Takashi. Uh, today we're going to speak about uh, Takashi Six Nine and his role as a federal witness in a racketeering case against the Nine Trey Bloods. Someone from Nine Trey just got stabbed in uh, prison for disavowing the gang. So shout out oh. to them; they're still active. You know. Okay. Sometimes you know it's, it's branding. Okay, it's branding. Like if you if you disavowed you get, it, like I'm not fucking with y'all because like y'all. I think he was trying to get snitch or something like that, or he was trying to get moved to protective custody or some ooh. shit, and they caught him. So listen, listen, I, gangs are not baseball teams. Can't come on, walk on, walk yeah, on. Like yeah, yeah. you're in it. Yeah. I think the problem is they got rid of um the cigarette burns. Mm. People don't that like when someone's like, "Oh, I'm gonna burn you three times with a cigarette," then you'd be like, uh, "Do I really want to do this?" Uh, Cause that changes like your options for wearing short sleeves. Yeah. You know? Also getting jumped in. Like mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like nowadays, like it's like, yo, bring me five thousand dollars and you could be in my gang. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. All right, I could do that. Before it was like, yo, you gotta walk through this line of thirty dudes and every single one of them is gonna punch you in the fucking face. Or you gotta make it to that. Or you could do work and slash people in the face. Yeah. On the train. Yeah. Which is not that hard actually. That's not it's, and it's people didn't realize easy. how easy like you there's no cameras and shit to catch yeah. you. You can get away with it. So. Bro, in the 90s, you could definitely chop six people on the train and just keep it moving. And stay on that probably sit, stay on the same train and transfer 125th. Uh, the 90s were almost 40 years ago. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah, these references, bro. <laughs> these references. Hip hop, hip hop. They, they they getting up there. <laughs> it's like to us that'd be like someone being like, "Yo, back when I lived in the Bronx in the '60s." Yeah, are you gonna you gonna listen to that? You wanna hear somebody talk about fucking Bronx Tale? Huh? Huh? You wanna hear someone talk about when Eden War Projects was full of Italians? Was it? Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. I don't even know that. Yeah. See. Back when the Bronx was weird. The Bronx was weird. You go in the Bronx and everyone's in a fucking doo-wop band. <laughs> Johnny and the doo-wops. Hey. Oh. Hey. It's Johnny and the Shanettes. <laughs> Joel. Joel. Hey, hey. hey, get your harmonica. All right, all right. All right. The, gu- the guys go. from City Island think they can sing better than we can. Oh, oh, One, yeah. two, three, go. We are white from the Bronx. We take the train every day down to Fordham Road. We see some broads with some toes. And we know they're old. There are no blacks or spigs on my block. <laughs> I'm just watching it like 
Why would I buy tickets for this? <laughs> why would I bring my mother to this? She's just looking at me like, why, why? Yo. She also, was like, you took me to the handmade until now you're doing me this again? Now you're this? I'm like, sorry. I was like, I, I think they're just like setting tone. This is what I think should be like a standard rule for, for like when you do like, if you do a movie and then you make it into a musical. Like, you got to take all the dark shit out before you make the musical. Because if you go to watch the Temptations musical, mm -hmm. it's like, you want to, like, hear the songs and, like, the happy shit and, like, yeah. sing along or whatever. And then they're like, yo, my girl, my girl, my girl. We were touring in the South. They was calling us niggas. And then it's just, like, mad shit. Like, niggas are throwing shit on stage and on the bus and shit. And I was just like, and you see all the old white people that just came to hear my girl, like, mad uncomfortable. Like, ah, uh, yeah, that, uh, that wasn't me. Uh, that was uh, my uh, Uncle Joe. I mean, you got to throw that stuff in there. You got to have all the emotions and shit. <laughs> I was like, yo. Do you think I'm sitting there cracking up? Bro, like, ah! when they make the Broadway play, the Bodega Boys. Oh man. When the guy called us the N word on uh Bedford. Yo, that was that, 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 that gonna, motherfucker's still in the wind. He's still out there. He's Bodega like, Hive. Yo, what's up? I thought I said to kill him. Find him. We put a flashlight on him. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. Knock if no. The, the next live show we have, bring him. And we drag him in. Yeah. We're going to beat head him torture, on stage. Yeah. yeah. Torture the nigga. Burn him with cigarettes and shit. Torture him. Yeah. Do I'm cartel a, shit. I'm going to pour gravy on him and the macaron oh, around him. Like, Arr, yeah. Arr. Hell yeah. What's the, no, what other torture can we do for him? Um, Just do the whole, just copy the Wu-Tang torture <laughs> skip. We're going to take his phone and we're going to delete all his contacts. Oh, yeah. yeah motherfucker. Uh, what else? What do we do? Um, We could... Uh, just wet one of his socks. You know what? Just put the passcode in his in his iPhone mad times, mad times, and mad lock wrong. Him out. And disable the shit for like fucking 400 days. Mm, that could work. Until he got to wipe his whole shit. Mm. Torture, nigga. We're going to take out... <laughs> That's the new one. Torture, nigga. We're going to take Yo, out Mero's contacts and put them in his eyes. Ah! ah. Enjoy that conjunctionitis. Ah, uh, hold that. What else we gotta do? Uh, shit. Um, ooh, ooh, we're gonna make you eat a dollar slice of pizza. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. With, no, with no drink. And we're gonna buy him an apartment on a fifth floor walk up with no elevator. That's right. And yeah, four how, roommates. How do you enjoy that? Wait. Mm -mm. No, oh, no, that's not smart. That's not. Yeah, no, We'd just be paying rent. We'd for be him. paying his rent. Okay, that's, that's a terrible idea. Uh, um, shit. Why, why don't we just beat the nigga up? Can you, like, what does that prove? Yeah, that's true. What does that prove? Yeah, yeah. Beating people up in twenty nineteen. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, we can't do that. Gotta do something, something worse, something to forever scar him. Bring up his old tweets. <laughs> Perhaps we can make him vape to death. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he was vaping. Yeah, I think he, he had a vape. No. You never know, right? Nobody was vaping back then. This was like before vapes. This was like when they when they had the this is this is pre jewel, but it's like in the in the in the thick of the robot cock vapes. But yeah, but he wasn't vaping. Remember he was in a he was in a Hollister shirt. Like, yeah, he looked he like a vapor. I think nah. that's what made me feel like he was vaping because he had the Hollister V neck. No, because he was trying to look young, but he was old. He was one of those guys that you're like, oh wow, you're oh wow, oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. And you're wearing Havaianas. Okay. Dude, how can you drive in those? He did. He got away. Hmm. This motherfucker. Oh, man. What if he's like a fan and he didn't realize it was us? Yo. And he and put, he's he's like, I was like, oh, shit. That was what they, Oh, wow. <gasps> that was him? Then he goes and gets like extensive plastic surgery, like El Chapo and shit, but we never <laughs> find out who he is. Oh, uh, he wouldn't have to do that. He probably would just come to one of the shows and be like, remember, remember someone called you the N word? It was me, bro. It was me, bro. And we'd be like, I oh, take shit. I back. I love you. I'm like, oh, shit. That, oh, shit. Yeah, uh, Bodega Hive died for the Hive. <laughs> He's like, I got you guys' faces tatted to prove my, in you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my fucking loyalty to the Hive, bro. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, that I seems like a terrible idea, but wow, you know, that's what you it. did. So Okay, so shout out to you. That, shout out to you. Fucking wing. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, Giants got cream last night. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is, this is to be expected. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Next, are you talking next about football? Season, next season. Are you talking about football? Next uh, season. Oh, that's right. You're boycotting. Yeah. So, yeah, this is boycotting. Just a DM from Nessa. Yeah. About thank you boycotting. for boycotting. Thank you for standing with Colin. Yeah. Boy, we're boycotting. Rest of you, rest of you heathens. Yeah, we're boy. Yeah, boycott. Okay. Boycott. I don't watch the games. I just bet money on them. That's the same as watching the games. No, I'm not. It's, it's not. the same. It's not at all. It's the same. I don't give them the ratings. That's like that's like saying that's like if you if you buy products from if when slavery was around if you bought products from a slave plantation but you didn't own slaves. It's no different. 
Well, I'm, and yeah, I'm, yeah. Mm, mm. That's actually completely different because no. it's just this is just between me and Action Sports Network. It has nothing to do with the NFL. No, no, it does everything. This is all from the NFL. <laughs> you take away the NFL, you have nothing. They're just taking data. It's like it's the same shit as if motherfuckers. It's not had a data. Spread. The data is people. So listen, when you bet on a game, you're betting on numbers. It's the Your same thing as betting on a Super Smash Brothers tournament. That is not true. It is absolutely that the same thing. That is not true. One million percent. If that's what you have to say to make it okay in your head. <laughs> that's fine. To codomize and monetize the death of young brown people slowly, repeatedly, night after night for the enjoyment of people who don't give a shit if the cops are killing them. Oh. I mean... Oh, That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh. So now I'm the unwoke guy. Uh, you've been the unwoke guy for many episodes. <laughs> many episodes. This is not. This is not a. Uh, that's right, motherfucker. I'm the kid man from motherfucking East Street. My nigga, I didn't graduate college. Suck my dick. That that doesn't work. That doesn't work at this point. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what happened to Bodega Boys? I was like, fucking. It's a. Uh, Turned into fucking. It's NPR. Malcolm Gladwell with fucking Tallahassee Coats. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's up? It's your boy Malcolm Gladwell. You know what? It, I, I, Yo, shout out all my outliers. Yeah, you're, 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 you're my man. T- yo, Tahasi, how you feeling? You you got them reparations on yo, your deck? Yeah, yeah, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? I told the government, yo, but, stick you. We supposed to. What, what? Yeah. Yo, but, yo, I got a hot take I was thinking about. Yo, I think most child molesters are well dressers. <laughs> oh, shit. I wrote a whole chapter on that. <laughs> Anyone else says that, you'd be like, you're out of your mind. But he, if Malcolm Gladwell says that, everyone's like, Oh, well, let's explore hmm. this. Hmm. Let's explore this. He's like, well, <laughs> most child molesters wear size M. <laughs> you can get a good, you know, Japanese denim. So you're like, wow. <laughs> wow. You, uh, you really, he's reading some really he good did, points. He, you know what? Let's give him a $10 million grant to study this. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I, we have to start like writing just wild controversial statements like that. Like, <laughs> Like weird shit like that, and just like get people because like, we're in that weird place where people just fall in line and believe it because we said it. Oh yeah. So our hot take for this episode is, uh, we're bringing back Kabbalah. Bringing back Kabbalah. Yeah, that shit fell off. Yeah. Was like, Madonna was, was doing it. And it like was never shit. really popping though. Yeah, that's what it I'm was saying. never. No, we got to bring back a different cult. Let's bring uh Heaven's Gate. Gate. Jinx. <laughs> Jinx are too easy. Yeah. Heaven's Gate is I mean, lit. Let's, yeah, let's Heaven's Gate. No. And the, the, the brand synergy we, we will get with Nike, get the Cortez, get the See? tech suits. This is, problem. This, is problem. this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. See, you got people who like right here. People who like to think right here. Like to think small. Okay. Yeah, Heaven's Gate. We're going to live uh, lie in some bunk beds with some Cortezes and die. Meanwhile, your man, Jesus H. Fuego. Oh, All right. What do you I'm got? thinking what do you got? cold. What do you got? I'm thinking fry fest. I am thinking Jonestown 2, baby. Let's go. What's up? Bring your old Kool-Aid. All right. We're doing it in Puerto Vallarta or some shit. We're basically making, we're redoing the MTV summer, uh, <laughs> spring break. Spring break. So it's going to be lit. We're going to have a special performance by uh, Bad Baby, Triple Cardi extension. P, Triple, everybody's there. Ah, you can see him after the punch. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even punch. It's a douce. <laughs> Victor, get a liquor sponsor for us. Yo! I don't think this one's about Victor, the liquor. To be Victor, honest. get a liquor. <laughs> Victor, get a li- get us a liquor sponsor and a poison sponsor. <laughs> Yo, Terminex is like pull up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just imagine we running it and like we got like fucking earpieces on and like we're moving talent and we're, like under bad stress and shit. Uh, five uh, minutes on five minutes on stage. Uh, how many how many how many minutes you need? <laughs> Okay, uh, talent, talent in hair and makeup. Yeah, yeah five, uh, I mean five minutes. How are we? How are we looking on the poison? What's props? Yeah, props, props. Poison. You put the poison. I, I uh, poison's flying. We in don't the, have. Uh, we, we got the we got, we, we, hold, copy. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Uh, what? Oh yeah, oh, we got it. We got it. We got, we got the poison. Okay, we got the poison. The poison's poison. Flying take in. it in. Uh, take the trailer in. over there. Poison's flying in. Okay. <laughs> what time is Lizzo going on? Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, okay. All right, so okay. we got five minutes in between. How are we gonna fill those five minutes? Okay, Lizzo. Okay, when you sing the song, I need to change the lyric. It goes, "Why poison great till it has to be great?" Yes. Okay. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. What? What? Okay. Uh, the bathrooms for the uh, in the the uh, performers uh, lounge. What's it going seems on? It's, it's 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 clogged. So someone give me a plunger. Oh shit. Okay. okay. Uh, Let's go. Uh, fuck. Okay, I got it. We get too winded to even kill ourselves. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're all in FEMA tents. At the end, we're just like, Whoa. good show, guys. Great. We amazing. We put on a gr- amazing, amazing show. Amazing. You know, amazing. Shout out to Victor. Did his thing. Did his thing. CB, you did your thing. Everybody. Die. The, no, could, yeah. Brought in the poison. Couldn't have done without <laughs> you. Well, the poison. <laughs> we forgot to take the poison. <laughs> oh, next time. Adam's like, we forgot to do the poison, but guess what? We sold out, got a new offer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to Chad. Chad. All right. It's a war torn region, so selling so, tickets might be a little hard, but, but listen, I know we can sell it out this, if the theater's still standing. This is the thing. The, 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 the reach that you guys have in Chad, incredible. So we got it. We want to really attack that market. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. and 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 bring the poison over there. Okay, and just have the mass suicide over there because it'll be a great. We'll get a great crowd response, great engagement. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the merch will fly. Mm-hmm. You know, literally. we'll sell it before people die. Literally, because the mortar will hit the theater. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I love it. You know, beautiful. Love it. It's it's a no brainer. That's, yeah. a, that's a Just very tell me when. that's a very inside joke. But <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, I was about to bring April, the stage manager. To this. Wow! <laughs> Could you imagine her making sure that she's a, she's gonna be like, "Yo, you got to be dead in 30. <laughs> okay. She'll be like, "Hey, baby. Oh, <laughs> um, it's twenty five minutes. You got to die in five. Okay. And we're walking. <laughs> and we're walking. And we're dying. And we're dying. <laughs> and three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga died the wrong way. They're like, reset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> reset, bring it back. You should catch. Uh, uh, hold on. Stop, stop down, stop down. My man, my man, you died sideways. Everybody's on their back. <laughs> Can we roll him over on his back, please? Thank you. All right. Speeder. Can we get. Oh, I hate to do this. Can we get another death for safety? <laughs> I love that death. I love that death. I love that let's death. Just do it. But let's just do it. Just do it straight. Just and straight, like just like do it on the and strip. faster. Just die faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I need to die in like yeah, thirty yeah. seconds. I love the drama that you ended at the end, but we want just something tight and clean, just mm-hmm. in case we need to like cut it down. Okay. All right. Cool. He's like, uh, fuck. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it. it. Beautiful. Great, Great day. Great, Great day. Uh, all right. Let's wrap on these tomorrow, y'all. Everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Dude. Everybody. Mad dead bodies around us <laughs> and shit. I was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, They're like, your car's over here. Yo. I was like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Just high fiving everybody and shit. Like, yo, yo, Claire, good job. Mad yo. union people just dragging yo. away dead bodies and yo. shit. Yo, you're dead now, but yo, you did a great job on the sketch. Oh, right? shit. <laughs> I'm like, all those dead people sag? They're like, they were real people. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, they sag like, yeah, wow. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're all vice employees. All right. Oh, all right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, choo Low key, if you just force everybody at Vice to wear the black and white Cortezes, they'd be dressed like Heaven's Gate anyway. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> With black overalls. <laughs> uh, Why does everybody at Vice wear dressed like a fucking railroad ro- ro- worker? <laughs> I just <laughs> fucked that up. But yeah. you know what the fuck I mean? A yeah. railroad worker. Yeah. Choo Motherfuckers choo. out here dressed like white John Henry. <laughs> fuck is wrong with y'all? Man, get some real <laughs> shoes. Nigga, not some fucking shits that you made with like nails. What was even the point of the John Henry story? I don't know. Like he was mad, brolic, and Yo, he was like. Black people are mad strong and then they die. And he died at the end. He beat the train and he died. Like. Does his wife crying at the end? Like, what, like, what the fuck? John Henry was the original Fruitvale Station. That's right. Throwing it out there. Boom. I'm throwing it out. That's a hot take, but Yo. I'm throwing it out there. Yo, Michael B. Jordan, you're the next fucking John Henry. <laughs> <laughs> the John Henry story Sorry, Michael B. Jordan. I'm like, I want to see this shit. <laughs> Eva's going to shoot it. Oprah going to like film it. This is important. We need to see it. This is a horrible We production. need to see it. <laughs> Lee Dennis is like, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Get Terrence Howard in there somehow. Uh, <laughs> damn, we're gonna have to make this. This makes a, the more I think about it, this makes a lot of sense <laughs> with Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> it does. He just takes his shirt off for no reason. Like, yo, come on, dog. You ain't gotta do all that. He's like, Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> shit's not even right. Shit, you know how us had uh what was it I got five on it? It's like the song. She got I got are we cutting? It's like the song. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two hammers. <laughs> but you gotta do like a dark version of Are We Cutting? <laughs> Just see the wife like, John, what are you gonna do with those hammers? And he's just like, I'm finna hammer this railroad. And it's just like a lightning flash. <laughs>
That shit just reminds me of the in a fuck. world <laughs> where a man couldn't own two hammers. <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta have the racial aspect. <laughs> boy, where you going with them hammers? What? Where you going with them hammers, boy? Listen, hammers for white man. No, no, okay? they, no they isn't. Okay? Black man can't have no hammers. I'm gonna build me a railroad by my motherfucking self, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Um, Stark down. Starring Daniel Kaluuya <laughs> as John Henry. I don't know why we can't get like a, a American. He's like, I'm, I'm going to build this railroad, mate. Uh, I'm, I'm building the team from scratch, mate. I got a hammer. <laughs> I got a hammer. Is it with me, peace, bro? <laughs> What's the top boy? He top just, boy, John Henry. He just all us as John Henry. <laughs> Where's my train tracks, bro? <laughs> Yo, choo choo, ain't it? <laughs> building the tube. Yo, get the fuck out of From Peckham to South London. That's right, mate. Yo. How, uh, are there mad American actors in England? I, I, I don't think it goes both ways. I don't nah, think doesn't. I don't think this beautiful, sexy American accent is wanted over yeah, there. Yeah, nah. You go over there, you're like, imagine Cardi B trying to do like Downton Abbey. <laughs> She'd be like, ew. Yo, y'all niggas doing tea time? Ew. Imagine us in Peaky Blinders. Like, yo. Yo, where that dog at? Go, let me get a fucking sandwich and some coffee. They're like... <laughs> What? Like, ew. It says tea time. Tea time. It's, it's hard to. Yo, you dead ass. Yo, for real? That's crazy, yo. Yo, y'all niggas just eat beans on bread? That's why I'm going to stand over here online. They're like, it's not online, it's inline. No, it's online. I'm from I'm, New York. I'm, online, I'm nigga. from New York. I'm out here by myself. Yo, what the fuck, All right? Nigga? Yo, call the shit a Q one more time. Where's those people? Call the shit a Q. Call the shit a Q one more time, my nigga. All right? Q. Fuck. I got a Q right here. Yeah, I got a That's Q a in the trunk, nigga. Suck. <laughs> Peaky blinders. Yo. It sounds like a wild, problematic Jamaican club in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, Peaky blinders. It's like Peaky blinders. Yo, this <laughs> this weekend we have a match at the place at Peaky blinders. Peaky, like we the, have a ninja man. The picture, oh, by Jesus nice. The picture is like a Jamaican man, and he's like looking over a fence, and there's like a lady bent over, but his oh, eyes are yeah. that big. <laughs> <laughs> I feel him, Peaky. Peaky. <laughs> and yeah, like the outside, it looks like it's like beach theme, and you go outside, it's just chairs. It's just chairs. It's just like a regular ass restaurant. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no peach theme or nothing. Yo, we, 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 we are gonna get picky. We can drop the track. It's like bend over, bend over, bend over. Pick it, 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 pick it. I'm so picky. I'm so picky. I'm so picky, so picky, so picky. The new dance is you actually come to the club with blinders and keep opening it like. <laughs> oh, do the pick now. Do the pick now. Do the pick now. Hey. I hope you're listening, Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sun's down. Close them up. Twist, 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 twist. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow it's like a penis reference and shit. Like, oh, yeah. Two spunny cocky like you two spunny blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Clean them. Clean them. Clean them. Switch it up. Ah, switch it up. Ah, switch it up. Ah. <laughs> Me love blinders, but no male to male. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> we made it to four minutes and 50 seconds. Why'd you throw that in there? Girl to girl blinders is wrong. <laughs> Bind them. <laughs> With the wild auto tune. <laughs> oh, no. That's like a drop. <laughs> no. Yo, fam, can I tell you something? I grew, this is, this is uh, me exposing something about myself. I had no shut idea. Up, nigga, shut up. I had no idea. No, no, expose yourself. Expose yourself. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Expose yourself. I had I saw a picture of Bobby Condors for the first time ever. Mm-hmm. He did not look ex- anything like what I expected him to look like. So this, you're exposing your anti-blackness? No. Because that's what I hear. I thought he was. I, I hear anti-blackness. I thought he was like a white Jamaican dude, like the like oh. like the like the dude like the Facebook guy that went viral. That he's like, yo, I'm Jamaican, but I'm white. I don't use Facebook because uh, it meddled in our election. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm talking about like I saw this shit in like 2007. I have I didn't use it back then because I knew they were gonna meddle in our election. <laughs> okay, well, sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm super woke. <laughs> You don't know that. Yeah. I once saved Hillary Clinton from a gang shooting. <laughs> you know she's well, you know she's from Sex Money Murder, right? I'll take you that and raise you. I deleted her emails. How about that, I acid watched her emails. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have you, you know. Them? I was at my home chilling, and then Donald Trump was like, "Russia, if you're listening, we have the emails." And my phone rang, and it was like, "You have the emails, these." <laughs> 
They're literally in a box underneath my couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're mad boring. <laughs> They're all like memes of positivity. Yo, and we're, so what if all the Hillary Clinton's emails are like word of the day? This is like mailing list she signed up for. A fucking newsletter. <laughs> like, hey guys, for the week, for this week, we would like to, you know, uh, uh, everybody sign up for the 5K. Don't forget. And we're having a fundraiser it's for like a recipe how to make like a cupcake inside a mug. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's treason. This is mad Pinterest links. <laughs> She's out here. She's making birthday cakes and mugs. Investigate her. Investigate it. That's not what. That's not what cupcakes are for. That's not what they made for. Look at this. Look at this. It's a smiling dog. It's supposed to make you feel better. Look at why is she getting this? Why? 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 Yeah. Why is she stepping into 2019? Unbothered. With posit- unbothered with positivity. Mm-hmm. Huh? Prostate is word of the day. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Apparently she has a friend request for words with friends. Who still plays that? Who who does that? Words with friends. Wow. Damn, remember that shit? Yeah, that, that was a moment. That was a wild grimy way to, to to communicate. You know what I'm saying? With shorties on the low because they had the little chat option. Yeah, this- Dominicano soy. <laughs> Let me say just, just, bring just, bring out, just bring out a flag. Just bring out a flag. <laughs> you know what the word of the day is right now is not monogamy. <laughs> it is Dominicano. You can't spell Dominican and monogamy because Dominican uses too many word letters, so you don't have anything left for monogamy. You just got got me, got me, got me, got me, you got me, mommy, but you're not gonna. <laughs> oh, you left his. Oh, OMG. Oh, my God. You got me. Oh, my God. You got me. <laughs> oh, man. Words are friends. Yeah. If you get cheated on and your boo use words, words with friends, friends to communicate with the person that cheated on, you can't even get mad. You can't even get mad. You'd be like, yo, Nigga, you, you, you're, not, you're not getting cheated on. You're in an episode of 24. Like. <laughs> This, this is some high tech shit. <laughs> Chloe, I need you to hack into words with your okay. friends. Damn it. <laughs> Can you, I mean, at some point you got to be like, yo, this, I got cheated on, but this person went through efforts, so I didn't find so out. So I didn't find out. So does that count like, for more? You know, it kinda, you, get, you get points. But then for all that, because you should have just like broke up with them. Uh, you could. But then it's just like, ah, you know what? You you bring something to the table. This person brings a little something you're not bringing to the table. Together, like we said last week. Yeah. It's supplementary, yeah. not complimentary. Yeah. You know, not nine degrees, <laughs> one hundred eighty degrees. Everyone, across, everyone at SFS is like, "Boo!" Oh, what y'all talk? I'm telling y'all how to keep a man. <laughs> oh, I'm the bad guy. Oh, what? I'm the bad guy. Oh, all right, all right. All right. All right. You know what? You fuck, right. fuck y'all. Give you it up for what? Charlie Wilson. Let, let your man get his dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be the new Steve Harvey. That's that's one new thing. I'm the latest. You got to let your man get his dick sucked. <laughs> Okay. On occasion. On occasion. Listen, there's nothing worse than getting your dick sucked by the same person all the time, all the time. <laughs> Let me ask you something. <laughs> Let me ask you something. <laughs> you ever had hamburger helper? I showed that. Yeah. Would you want to eat hamburger helper Monday, Tuesday, huh? Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday? The crowd's like, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, tell us, you, you, tell us, yeah. Friday, huh? Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> but Sunday, that hamburger helper. Need some helper. It was like, <laughs> yeah. Also, shout out to Steve Harvey's mustache for looking like this. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker makes Drake's dad's mustache look like a fucking like a mini push broom. Like, yo, my uh, man got the longest mustache in the game, dog. Drake's dad's mustache looks like a fence for Lego. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit is a duck blind. Oh. <laughs> uh. I was in a club in LA and he was there. Drake's dad. Yeah. And I was and, like, and the nigga and got was, the nerve to say, like, yo, I was I was present in my son's life. I was like, sir, sir. Your attire tells me differently. I was like, <laughs> I was like, fam. I was like, we was in the same club. Like, like come on now. How also, you, but, are you in Canada in the tunnel at the same time? But I do know people who lie about their parents not being in their life. You, yeah. We all have that one friend oh, that wants to make yeah. their childhood seem Mad more dramatic like, and shit. Oh, it's yeah. not true. Oh, my dad left when I was... Blah, my blah, dad blah, burns blah, me blah. with cigarettes. You meet their dad. He's like the nice person ever. Yeah. He's like, who wants to go to Pizza Fridays? <laughs> hey, guys, guess what it is? Taco Tuesday! <laughs> I'm like, Bronny, I thought you said your father left. He's like... He be coming around sometimes. He be, he be nigga, your father LeBron James. Your father, I know he's around, nigga. <laughs> I, I see him on his IG. Come on, he's at the games. He's cheering you on. Fuck is wrong with you, What's man? Wrong with you, yo. 
that Travis Scott interview where he was like, yeah, my dad got a master's in like fucking what's that shit that got to do with like politics and shit, like political science. Yeah, that nigga had a master's and he was in the house and shit. Just like being in the I house. I know this is people who were like upset that their parents were in their life. Like, <laughs> like, like, why are you mad? Like, yo, dog. Like, I'll borrow that. <laughs> like, for shit, I'll take it, nigga. Shit. Fuck, my pops was working like 18 hours a day, nigga. I, I right. come home and be like, hey, dad. Like, like hey. yo, hey. Uh, by, oh, you got to leave in three hours to go back to work? Okay. I'm love six. You. I'm just calling my father by his, uh, his, his government name. <laughs> Can we just work different shifts? Just meet him at a coffee machine. I was like, hey, how's it going, Mike? <laughs> yeah, you know, this broad. She wants me to learn uh, fucking vowels and consonants, right? Get, Fuck, get off my fucking ass, you fucking know? Fucking Daniel Jones. You know, what is that? Oh, yeah. He's got two good weeks. Go fucking Giants. shits to bed in the fucking week six. Go Giants. It's crazy. Anyway, I got a growth spur uh, scheduled for later on, so I got to get out of here. All right, take it easy. I'll see you next week. All right, keep All it right, open. <laughs> <cool. laughs> just keep moving. Yo, my God. Oh. But we say that to say, uh, stay in your kid's life or don't. Yeah. This is not what you come to this podcast for. We don't give you life advice. We talk about Pino. Yeah, that's it. Like, you, you if you're listening to this podcast to decide if you should be in your kid's life or not, don't be in your kid's life because yeah. you're garbage. <laughs> you're, you're not. This is not the place, man. Go to Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz. I'm Dr. Dr. Zizmore shit. Dr. Zizmore. <laughs> Dr. Miami, nigga. Any, other, any doctor. Any doctor. <laughs> shit, Dr. Mario. <laughs> Also, shout out to Dr. Mario. They was like, yeah, you like you guys like Tetris? Yo, his Tetris were pills, nigga. <laughs> I know Tetris was like, wow. 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 Was Dr. Mario the first SoundCloud rapper? <laughs> oh, because he had pills? You think he's got mad pills and shit with the wild, weird beats and shit? <laughs> you, know, you know, you're just a jerk. I mean, you're really just stupid. I mean, it's not even clever or fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, also shout out to Mike Francesa for predicting both teams that yes, lost. Yes, oh, in baseball the other night. Yes, and in football, because the the Cowboys and the Packers were playing, and uh-huh. it was like, it was like a blowout. And then Cowboys started creeping back into it, and Francesa was just like, "Yeah, the Cowboys are uh, making a strong showing. I think they're going to take this one." And I was like, "Thank you, Mike. I thought the Packers were going to blow it, and then the Packers scored like fucking four more touchdowns." Oh, Mike Francesa. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Pope. They were saying that they feel like Mike has lost what he brings to the table and he needs hosts. He needs co hosts. And someone said Diaz Amaro and Mike Francesa would be the most amazing. Yo. They were like, even damn. if that was just an hour show, Dog. that would be the most amazing show. That's baking soda and vinegar right there. Oh my God. <laughs> that shit is going to explode. That would be such a fucking fit. <laughs> Could you go mad? Ah. <laughs> like he goes on a rant about how Dominicans are lazy. Oh, like, like, what? Yeah, you, you know they don't run out the first. You know. Well, Mike. Well, maybe if uh, you he's know, a, Dalo, he's no De Lo Mio person now. Yeah. Well, Mike. Guess what? If uh, uh, you I know, uh, another Diet Coke. DJ Lamayhew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hey, huh? DJ, when you play that song, that's our guy. He gives a dance in all yeah, night, all night yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Well, if that guy, you know, would get maybe get on bass. It would maybe incentivize. Yeah, I just come through. I'm like, the yeah, why there's no Jamaican players? Huh? <laughs> then the Yankees sign you, St. Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga runs past first base and just keeps going. <laughs> like, yeah, you got to work on some things. But you know. You know. <laughs> Nigga slides around all four bases like in one slide. Like, yo, how do you do that? St. Bolt could score inside the park home run on a single. On a single? <laughs> on a boop single to the pitcher? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how? How? Yo. He's just like, a size of the home. He's like, <laughs> In Jamaican news, did you see people trying to slander him? Like, being like, yo, that he couldn't... They were saying some shit like he couldn't beat uh, uh, a 40... Like, a, you know, the NFL dudes do the, the 40 the yard dash yeah. or whatever? That, that he couldn't beat an uh, 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 average, like, run, like, time. And I was like, bro, this dude is the fastest man on the planet. Like, what are you I, talking about? I wonder if they're talking about, like, how long it takes him to get up to speed or something. I don't or, know. Or, like, some acceleration Listen, or some wild... He faster than me. So. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, yo, I'm not running for him. Every now and then, I'll be walking, and my Apple Watch will be like, whoa, whoa, yo, whoa, 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 hey, big dog, yo, <laughs> fam, you've been walking a bit. <laughs> you want me to, you want me to like call somebody? 
or you want me to mark this down? You know what I'm saying? Because like, I know you're not exercising. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not really an exercise type nigga. So, like, is the Uber app not loaded or what's going on? Oh, you walking the dog. Okay, cool, oh, cool, cool, okay, cool, cool, okay, cool, cool. Just check it, just check it. And the Apple Watch be messy as fuck because I tell, like, if you go for a walk, it tells you, like, the endurance of the walk, how hard you're going, your yeah. heart rate, the elevation. And shit. Yeah, like, it should be like heart rate, you, you wild like, pussy, damn. elevation, you wild pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Distance go harder. You fucking they need hurt. to add if you walk through a walk like a neighborhood that's like rough, like how you carried yourself. Yeah, and be like, yo, yo, you was looking like yo, you was, was real sturdy. You let your nuts hang. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, you looking kind of soft there. Yeah. You looking kind of soft uh, there at the one mile mark. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, looking, uh, looking, looking a little buns. Yeah. When you're walking past 155th, you know what I'm saying? You look a little bunzini. Mm-hmm. Look a little nervous because the street light was out. <laughs> Across the street. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. You saw two niggas sitting on the bench in the dark. You got nervous. He was like, you didn't want any trouble. <laughs> I don't know if I can relate. It's kind of sad. I'm the type of asshole to walk past the two du- dudes sitting on the bench in the dark and just look at them like, yo, what's up? What y'all doing? I just, anytime I pass, I just give a head nod Good. like that. And usually, especially in the Bronx, they just look at them like, what's up? Man, and then I was walking away, they'll be like, oh shit, that's oh, my son, yo, Jesus. Yo, what's good, nigga? I'm, I'm, like, like, what's up, man? I'm like, you're. There was a guy yesterday, he was like, yo, my guy, uh, D's. Yo, D's. And I was like, who? And I don't want to turn around and be like, these who? And he'd be like, these nuts, these nuts. And I have to fight him, but. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit worked I'm out. Like, yo, Mike. Drake, Mike, drop. My dick. Nigga, like, oh, oh, come on, bro. You guys were going to be forming at both? Both? Oh, what, what, what? Both these nuts, you motherfucking uh, mouth, motherfucker. Uh, uh, put, them, put, put them all in your cheeks, mom. <laughs> This is episode 174? Yes, it is. This is episode 174. Which coincidentally is the amount of games that the Yankees need to win in a row in order to sweep the bum ass Houston Astros. 174? Uh, four. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that was a reach. Like, well, whatever. I'm you'd, make a ter- you'd make a terrible sports cast, I just want you to know. Uh, but that's good. Because terrible sportscasters are the best sportscasters because they go viral the most. Think of Chris Collinsworth. He says stupid ass shit like, if he would have caught that ball, it would have been a complete pass. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Niggas watch Magic Johnson got mad to the followers <laughs> for his basketball analysis. Magic Johnson don't know shit. He was like, yo, I feel like the Dodgers won't be going to the World Series this year. He's well, like, yeah, because they lost, nigga. Yeah, uh, hello. Yo. <laughs> it's your boy, these nice. Like, young Chipotle, like, pocket see fat like Tyrion. Like, pocket see fat like, here we go. Hey. It's the RV version, like, here we go. You guys seen that? Uh, we got to do a remake of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. Oh, yeah. But we're going to, it's like going to be the mad, like, flaky boss baller version. It's going to be like, it's so hard to say goodbye to being bro. Like, he's singing the money and shit. He's got their shirt open in the bank vault. I'll take, take with, with me, me his AP and the yard masters with which I came. Yard masters with which I came. Cause it's so hard to say goodbye to, to being bro. Then the bass nigga comes in and he's like, y'all niggas is broke and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why would you play this song on a, on a, why'd you play this song on a, a charity event? <laughs> At a homeless shelter for kids. Like, yo. <laughs> oh, y'all niggas got no houses. So, but I might know your best. Young day party, young hot take. DJ Fuego, Mr. Nanos with Rondo. Mil no Vesente Vete, Quattro, and Nuevo York. God damn. MC Lukagunki. Yeah. No, oh, Mikhail going off. The Juve boss. MC Lukagunki. Pulling up for 40, which is shorty. Ooh. Don't talk to me in the Oopu. I don't know. You. No, at all. So I had an Uber the other day, mm-hmm. and the guy I got it, and he started laughing. He was like, "Oh my god, yo, I fucks with the brand, bro. Yeah. Like I know how you feel about Uber, so I'm not gonna say nothing." I was like, "Oh, uh, thank you, oh my god, thank you, five stars, <laughs> five stars." <laughs> now hurry up! I just uh, drank some ramen with bone broth, <laughs> and I have to get to the bathroom ASAP. Because <laughs> you know what they say: you don't buy it, you rent it. The reason why plus one got plus one so don't make a fuss, son. You can also say that in a relationship, like, yo, my plus one got plus one, so I'm gonna go fuss. So, please, my girl got a girl. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't. 
Don't make a fuss. These Rossi and the Jamaican Jew. Still, uh, listen, we still still celebrating the hangover from Rosh Hashanah. Yo, you know what I'm you saying? You know what I'm saying? Now we're toting for our sins, yo. Okay, niggas. You feel mad, me? Mad brisket on deck. And uh, Jermaine Avocado, Young Pop, the Ghost of Mufasa, Young Chakunu, we're at the coonery. Young Chakunu, we're at the coonery. Chakunuri, that coonery. Young Chakunu, we're at the coonery. Uh. You gotta say it like that. Mama say, 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 Mama Anyone else does that, you'd call the cops. Yeah. You'd Mike do that. does it. It's like, yo, he's a genius. He's a genius. Yeah, Go do that in the quiet car. car. Go do that in the quiet car on L.I. Dawar. See how people react. Hey, asshole. Hey, I'm, trying to to, I'm trying to listen to hey, Pastor the Billy up. Joel over here. Hey, you look, you're listening to the man in the mirror. I'm listening to the man that needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah, asshole. Aka <laughs> <laughs> Tilly the Mole left handed for the Yankees. Okay, look, hey, oh, listen, Bobby. we have to play the Astros and they play in Houston. And you know who goes for Houston? Whitney, and she dies. So that's how we're gonna that's play. That's good, Bobby. Okay? Oh, look, because oh, shit, I got actually, the Don't you guys have to um, like rekindle your Twitter beef with uh, Travis, Travis Scott, Scott over the Astros? Oh, Let's see if we won first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Three Phone Jones, Dizek Machina, Jay Charcos, Stanley Cops, Demon Dr. Bondos League, but dilute, dilute, dilute. You're using too many napkins. Then out of the trap, yo. <laughs> Mr. 240P, I like my Pino blurry. Yeah. I like my Pino without the right tags on it. I like mm-hmm. my Pino with a lot of comments that say, What's her name? Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't post her name, they're going to delete it. Or they, <laughs> or they post her name and they replace the A with the at sign. Yeah. yeah. Scumbags, scumbags. Eat with the three, you so, already know. Sushi of boys, yeah. yeah. DJ Woola, aka okay, the Washed FM. Now listen, I haven't been bringing the washness lately. I haven't bring been, it. I haven't been bringing that hip hop, hip hop for y'all. Bring it, okay? That real hip hop. Let's see if Miro knows about real hip hop. Oh, shit. What? You know what this is? Who the f- is that? Pudgy the Fat Bastard? The Outlaws. The Outlaws? With Fatal Hussein. Wow! All right? And some of y'all are like, who's that Jesus? Who is that Wash Group? If you know about Tupac, you should know about the Outlaws. Yeah, he's he's that's the song they made in 2017. Yes. The, okay. The Outlaws for the younger generation. The Outlaws are to Tupac what the Brave Hearts are to Nas. Two younger people out here, this is who the Outlaws are. When you listen to Hail Mary, mm-hmm. do you know how at the end of Tupac's verse you turn it off? Yeah. The people that rap after, after turn after, it off. Yeah. Exactly. So. Shout out to Tupac for picking the worst features. Like, All Eyes on Me. Who, who's the guy that comes on All Eyes on Me? He's like, Diggas one okay, we don't know about And his whole flow was like this the entire whoa, whoa, time. Whoa. I, I, oh yeah, oh, I know you're not slandering who I think you're slandering. All Eyes on Me. Wait, wait. With the Tupac song? Yeah. Wait, what's his name? That song is fucking fire. Have you but the the song the is guy, fire. The guy that raps, he has like the best verse on it. His voice, his, his, it sounds like Paul Bearer trying to rap. <laughs> Yo, play that, play that. Wow. Yeah, no, listen, wow. Dude, listen, to this, listen to this guy. This could be your Imperioli uh, Mia Khalifa moment. <laughs> Maybe you just never looked at it that way. You know what I'm saying? What? No fucking way. Listen to the guy. The way the, his flow, his cadence, and everything. It's oh, like, it's like ooh, ooh, spooky. This guy. Nigga said, "I got a fucking swerve." Wow! Nigga had the spooky flow. Wow. Yo, it's October, baby. Halloween. I hope someone shoots you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> disrespect the hip hop. Disrespect the hip hop. <laughs> said, I'm just in a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> the curry goat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Jamal Hatfield. The Bronx Celine Dion. Ray Nephew's nephew. Wow. The Ray Nephew cannot say that. Can I potato? Do you remember where the job? Young Ero. I'm the race of Rocky Tour. Henry Butkos. Nelson Bangdella. Sergio can't see me. Vladimir Buffin. Wow. The human world is melting in your mouth. Mr. Bex. I 
Mount Texas and Richard Squeaky Tiki Squad. Be great. Pop of Worst answer is chestnut. Mama Gombe. Not mad to be black. I got that cucumber. The juice is pressed with your boy. Never is. Yeah. I am the art, damn it. The done died of Ganoush. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham. Uh. The Fashion Nova Casting Nova. We made shit. Five, ten, 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 True resort, holy cow. Mr. Soft Punk, all I do is count checks and jerk off. We got Ooh. OJ, Purple Soft Soda, and it's me, Sunny D. Hey. David German X. Ha. These expensive, these are red bottles, these are bloody shoes. So, Keen Noah, Andrew Kuhn, and AK the Junior, Energy God Junior. Come sit down, pop me charge. Sit by the seat, by the one, buddy. Call me Pet Cooker, I got your bitch on freeze. Ooh. On top of your gossip and say, I asked to the one one seven nine one. I I I'll hey. fight you in Babylon, you cowards. Let's That's go right, Rangers. Bro. Let's Yo, go fucking Rangers. Yo, I'll break a twelve over your fucking head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> A.K. Grandpa Joe Because when you see Charlie You see we don't touch That golden ticket A.K. your man Dead IDs this morning Sheriff hey. Be ashamed if these Blankets with tuberculosis Went missing <laughs> Then I get tuberculosis <laughs> But you know <laughs> It was energy But well, you know what I think we that need to no move problem. Lonzo There that you go no problem. Huh? Mr. No Shopping problem. at Street Easy With bad breeds Like I'm easy People bleed in the back Easy Attic Attic Crack Golden Mac Craft Manic Mr. Lamarine The Mess Marino oh Fresh God. Mr. Mina The Cold Demeanor The Sheep Mask Killer No one be The Black Zach Moore Support Moore A.K.A. Young KPI For all my marketing people Out there You yeah. know what it is A.K.A. Problematic Bay Listen It's not a secret family If you kill one of them Alright <laughs> 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 Up next Yo It's your fucking boy Make some motherfucking noise <laughs> This is your boy the Kim Arrow, A.K.A. The Human Direct A.K.A. Donovan McDab A.K.A. Curve Gotti You know what I'm saying Stay the fuck out of my DMs I just started getting money A.K.A. Triz Khalifa You know what I'm saying A.K.A. Skip Oh to jump the curb Hit your motherfucking sheepdog And keep it moving Ask me if I give a fuck I don't I'm a first generation immigrant child brother. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'll eat animals. You know what I'm saying? I'll give a fuck. I'll eat a fucking gopher, nigga, if I'm hungry enough. I don't fucking baby. I'm fucking mang, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? AKA, no need to check, to get, check the guesses. I am the guesses. I played the fucking starfish and little mermaid, nigga. Don't fucking touch me. No, I didn't have any lines, but I was just there and I made the ambiance. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Nate, shoot this nigga's fucking drag off to respect to me. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? AKA, CC Dad Bath here. You know what I'm saying? Smoke a THC in the basement. You know what I'm saying? AKA, Jane Say Fat. I'll ghost on you, shorty. You never Fat see me dude. again. You know what I'm saying? I gave you a Google phone number. Stupid. AK Tiger Backwards. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the back nine with a nine. Smoking. Four. You know what I'm saying? Holla. You know what I'm saying? AK getting to the money and the smoke is your boy Goldman Schmack. You know what I'm saying? A.K. Merrill the fourth is coming off the bench for Daniel Jones until Saquon get back. You know why? Because I'm the fucking d d dad of the year. You know what I'm saying? A.K. Big Smack Beyond Boy. A.K. Diego Maradona. A.K. Dick and Yabin Mutombo. A.K. David Trisdo. Pow! Nigga, take that for data. A.K. Bart Rosantana. So smooth. I fall asleep at the wheel and crash the zip car. The zip car. Yeah. And while I design women's shoes. That's right. A.K. Dominican Dundada Dagman Daddy. You know I'm saying catch me at locksmith fucking hanging upside down from the ceiling just playing a flute you know sir, what I'm you saying sir you can't do that so I, sir you can't yo, do that yo Oscar said I could yo sir and Hassan said too Hassan said I could sleep under the DJ booth I don't care you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. AK, swap my card again. There's definitely money on it. I don't give a... Joe, don't make me embarrass you in front of your management when they come up here and ask me for quick selfies and ask me how the kids is doing. Huh? You like your little Burger King job, Edwin? Then fucking put the fucking spicy nuggets in the bag and keep it moving, bro. Stop asking me for shit. You know what I'm saying? AK, Romeo Santos. <laughs> so zanny. Let me find out. Mm, I'm going to kiss your titi with the only with only my Chelsea boots on, papi. I'm going to be butt booty butt naked. Just Chelsea boots. And I'm going to be kissing your titi. Stop. Over, my uncle just over. died. I don't care. I don't care. We in the wake. We at Ortiz funeral home. Nigga, ask me if I give a fuck. I'm going to eat her ass. Not in front of everybody. No. Don't touch my Chelsea boots. AK, light now, Dutchie. Hello. Is it weird you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Thank, please hold your applause. Thank you. Thank you. That you're broken and you're fine. You know what I'm saying? So stay your ass in the house, girl. I'll be performing all week at the Apollo. Thank you. AK Tom Brady. I got my balls more to fill the Bobby Crafts. You know what I'm saying? The table shop boys in the motherfucking building, y'all. You know what I'm saying? AK feel the ass tight. I want to explore your consoles, ma. But consensually. With emphatic... Consent. Emphatic consent. You know what I'm saying? Learn those two words. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. 
aka Lil Stussy Burke. First thing to talk about on live, I've been doing it, you know what I'm saying, before all your favorite SoundCloud rappers, you know what I'm saying? I've been the pioneer of falling asleep on social media, aka Friday L. Messi, MVP of Gelato, aka Zaniel Bettyfield. I gotta get some sticks. I gotta get some sticks. Yeah, aka Joe Hookah. I dare you. To smoke with me Where? At Mama Sushi You know what I'm saying? Special event, you know what I'm saying? For the winter time, you know what I'm saying? We got P.O. back on deck He's flipping the coals, y'all We're remaking Mama Sushi with snow That's right With snow Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? This is gonna be snow <laughs> This is gonna be like dirty snow <laughs> yeah, I was like, why are we standing on the water in the cold? Don't worry like, about it It's festival It's a, it's All a, right? it's a thing All it's, right? it's an event It's an event So we'll play one dance again Yeah, you're lucky to be here A.K.A. <laughs> Ben Barson. <laughs> My hands are gifted. I have reconstructed a child's sternum using only autumn leaves and Burger King zesty sauce. Now your child can vogue. You're welcome. Candy, get the strap. AK, I'll be your medicine cabinet. You know who the fuck it is, man. It's the Zen, man. It's got a bit of You know what I'm saying? Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Get on a plane and nigga go for fuck bar and a couple edibles. Nigga, wake up, fucking swallow my beef brisket and just be like, uh, then fall asleep for seven hours. You know oof. what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? AK, Rico Sabroso, AK, baby, new for a two for five niggas got garbage down the way. AK, Nino Brown, shut the car down. Got your titi backing up naked. You know what I'm saying? AK, live from the park. Parking lot at Home Depot, and no, he's not looking for work. It's the East Dream on Stevie B doing all his greatest hits, like I wanna be the one your TT is fucking and Top Sick Love. Don't let me leave. You know what I'm saying? AKA, I'll make my friends since I'm never gonna fail. AKA, <sighs> listen, mate, it's only two rock stars left. Two, the Bodega Boys, mate. Of which I am one in it. Mm -hmm. The plantain sleeping over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Tree Mon. Smoking blunts and watching the Yankees dominate. dominate. You know what I'm saying? AK chilling at the crib off edibles, waiting for Katie and Kyrie to Google Hangout still for a week's trade. It's Barmelo's Anthony. For three? I guess for a uh, number three, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm super size. <laughs> if you see me at Target higher than fucking Frank Kaminsky's Yamaka, approach me like a motherfucking Earthside mammal and atone for your motherfucking sins, B, because I may react radically and you might not like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hey, kids, it's Benzo the Clown. <laughs> I have me for your kids' birthday party. I'll show up after it's over and I will be sleeping and urinating on myself. Uh, and I will have my friend, Mr. Fun Fun, uh, take over the festivities uh, on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing, <laughs> testing. Yeah. Is this recording? All right, so put your phones away. Listen, I might put a little Vienna sausage in one of your pants and now you're. Whoa, 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 uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Miss, uh, Miss, Mrs. Bornstein, uh, 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 Mr. Fun Fun likes to, uh, you know, call audible sometimes, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, it's a car right now, let's go. AKA, I sold fake lean to your favorite SoundCloud rapper, he's high off oven cleaner, I found in my garage, I don't even know, this shit is expired, but what's definitely expired is the Simply Fruit Punch that I used to mix with it. <laughs> and now, for your favorite part of the evening, uh, please turn on your SAP buttons, if you you have a Dominican relative, please have them sit next to you and translate on their uh, on your behalf. Uh, All my Dominicans, please rise. Tamo lindo. Hassan, coño, tírame la pista, oye, que lo que llegó el hijo de FIFA, papá, Dios bendiga a mi enemigo, coño, que lo guapo a utilizar con plomo si no dejan la dema. La envidia no mata, pero mortifica y parece que tú tienes requilla porque te pica. Mamá huevo, coño, estamos lindos para el 2020. Ya tú sabes que lo que Las cuentas están en alta. Shout out La Casa, Showtime. Mm. Shout out Showtime. Cash App. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Shout out Hassan Insane que pone la fucking, fucking nota. La nena de la bodega, da y que tiene um, el, el, el pieto de, gua, de guabinao. You know what I'm saying? Y shout out Claire Fritamen que está en el building. Entonces, también estamos aquí, estamos lindos. You know what I'm saying? Y finalmente, shout out. Mi presidente Pío, secretario de defensa activa con el cañón. Avísame que lo suelto, manín. Me quité ya. That's right. Dizzy Mero will be turning back to Showtime October 14th, but right. probably tonight. And uh, what else we got going on? Just all types of stuff. We, yeah, uh, man, shit, bro. 
We have uh, the Black Turtle Bible coming out, where yes, this right. is us reading different scriptures. Tax Stone is reading uh, Deuteronomy. Yes, It'll right. Be lit. Super um, lit. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, we got uh, Miro's guy to breastfeeding. You know what I'm saying? It's not for babies, just for like niggas that's like sucking on titties. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, you know what I mean, the titty will be good for you. And my new book, this is a Babylon thing, where I just told you what is a Babylon what thing. Babylon it's, uh, series one starts with A. That's right. Uh, alphabets, uh, alfalfa, uh, girls named Alejandra. That's right. Um, Antonio. It's like and, the world book. Yeah, it's Except a world book. It's the world boss book. There you go, free you know world boss. Episode 174. Most dangerous podcast in the world. You're we out. <laughs>